Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, we're gonna have a little fun and make some predictions for the upcoming 350 million download celebration, which is starting in roughly a week from now. And just to be extra clear, this is a speculation slash prediction video, so there is a chance that everything I say here will be completely wrong, okay? But with that said, the plan here is to predict the uh, dual Dokkan Fest LRs, the side units for those banners, the uh, summonable Extreme Z Awakenings, the Part 2 LR, as well as the potential enemies for a infinite Dragon Ball history stage. Okay, so with all that said, let's jump right into it. And uh, obviously what you see on the screen right now is the V-Jump leak we got a couple days ago. So this is currently the stuff that we know for sure is coming, right? We got the uh, Bulma's dangerous house sitting event that gives us 10 stones per day for I'm not sure how many days I'm assuming 10 days in total for 100 stones and then we also have the extreme Z awakenings for the free to play Ginyu force members and finally this new challenge event called uh super fierce battle complete combat or something like that I'm not really sure I forgot but either way new challenge event Ginyu force extreme Z awakening slash extreme Z area and also the uh Bulma Dragonstone event. Now, let's pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and jump into my personal predictions. Okay, so obviously, for this dual Dokkan Fest, I'm predicting a super type unit, an extreme type unit, and for the super side, I'm gonna go with a base Goku that transforms into Super Saiyan Goku, very similar to this unit right here, but obviously better and an LR, and uh, since we have the same name update now, if you want to, you could run both the Gokus on the same team, just with different linking partners, right? So for the Super side, I'm saying a transforming Super Saiyan Goku, and then for the Extreme side, I'm gonna go with a Final Form Frieza that transforms into a full power Frieza. And you know, it's been some time I think since we last had a final form Frieza or a full power Frieza. In fact, it's been a while since we've had a Frieza period, right? Unless I'm forgetting about something, but I don't think so. So either way, yeah, new Frieza, transforming Frieza, transforming Goku for the dual Dokkan Fest. And then as far as the side units go, for the Goku banner, I'ma say we're getting a new Piccolo. And uh, it could be maybe like a transform Piccolo, you know, you start as regular Piccolo and then through some kind of condition or maybe even an active skill, you become uh, Piccolo Nail Absorbed or Nail Assimilated, I guess. So that would be the Goku side. And then for the Extreme slash Frieza side, I'm gonna make a bit of a bold prediction. Okay, this is probably not a very popular pick. But it's a unit, or a character rather, that I feel like deserves to have a summonable version. And that, of course, is Super Zarbon. And once again, it could be a transforming kind of deal, right? You start off as regular Zarbon, then, you know, when you fall below a certain amount of HP, or whatever the condition may be, you become a Super Zarbon. Okay, so those are the side units. Piccolo and Zarbon. Obviously, Piccolo we haven't had for a while. And Zarbon, we just straight up have not had like a legit version of period in the game, right? Like we have this SR one, I think we have a few other SRs, but we don't have any like actually good Zarbons. So I'ma say Super Zarbon for the Frieza banner. Kind of random, I know, but I feel good about this pick. Okay, so moving on, we have the Extreme Z Awakenings for the summonable units. Obviously, there will be you know, some new free-to-play units that also get Extreme Z Awakenings, but we don't know what those are, and I'm not really going to try to predict those. But in terms of the summonable units, we have the STR Angry Kamehameha Super Saiyan Goku. Now this guy really needs an easy A. Okay, he needs an easy A bad, because he is uh, not very good right now. I mean, I'm not saying he's useless. Because this mechanic right here, survives KO attacks when HP is 20% or above, is pretty cool. Like, you can kind of say that he was the original revival skill unit, right? Kind of. It's not the same, but 
as kind of a similar function. So that was kind of cool, but he doesn't have any defense. He only gets 90% attack. And um, for a moment in the franchise, that's as iconic as what this guy represents. Um, he should be better, you know? So I definitely think this guy is going to be getting one of the Extreme Z Awakenings. And the other one, obviously, has to be a Frieza. So I'm going to go with the AGL Final Form Frieza, who honestly is still quite good, you know? Like, he doesn't really need an Extreme Z Awakening, but he also could definitely benefit from one. And, uh, you know, he's not, like, amazing anymore, right? So uh, I'm going to say these two guys are getting Extreme Z Awakenings. And I'm also going to throw another pretty bold pick out there and if it wasn't for the fact that you know the uh, NTY Goku and also the tech LR Goku and Frieza got Extreme Z Awakenings during the anniversary I probably wouldn't be predicting this but because those happened and because we are in the era of like you know LRs and Dokkan Fist units randomly getting Extreme Z Awakenings I'ma say and I'm not like super confident about this pick but I'ma just put it out there LR Full Power Frieza, STR LR Full Power Frieza, getting an easy yay in part two of the uh, celebration as well. So there you go. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that. I know a lot of people are probably going to call me crazy. And uh, as I said, man, I'm not like fully confident in this pick either, but I just want to say it just in case it does happen. And I do think there is a decent chance okay i don't know about decent maybe like a 10 to 20 percent chance that this actually happens so there you go i mean as far as the unit goes um he's not terrible but he really really struggles in harder events because number one he does hurt himself which i know is supposed to have synergy with his passive that uh, gives him more attack and key the lower his hp is but honestly, he's just not very usable because of that in, uh, you know, like Super Bad Road and stuff like that. So if they just kind of tweaked him a little bit to make him more usable in harder events, I think that'd be awesome. So give him a little bit more defense or at least uh, more consistent defense and maybe reduce this uh, HP reduction on his super by a bit. Um, I think he could be really good. So yeah, I'm a call for... This guy's Extreme Z Awakening as well, on top of the Frieza and Goku, okay? And I guess next up would be the Part 2 LR, the Summonable LR for the Part 2 Legendary Summon Banner. And to me, the most likely candidate is uh, a Namek Saga Vegeta, okay? Because this guy was a pretty big part of the Namek Saga. And there's only one Namek Saga Vegeta in the entire game, and it's this unit right here, the Int Vegeta. And I feel like that's just not right, you know? So, yeah, I think we should get a second Namek Saga Vegeta, an LR Namek Saga Vegeta, or part two of the anniversary. And obviously on the banner, I guess they would also include the uh, full power Frieza if he's getting an Extreme Z Awakening, just so it's a top legendary summon. But I guess they don't really do that. Because if a unit's getting an Extreme Z Awakening, they usually have their own separate EZA banner, right? I don't really know. Okay, forget about the second unit. Um, let's just focus on the first one, the main guy, which is the Vegeta. So that's my prediction for the Part 2 LR. And uh, finally, I do think we're also going to be getting a new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball History because that's kind of been a trend for the, you know, download slash worldwide celebrations. So of course, this year, we're going to get a Planet Namek Saga uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, and I think it's going to be eight stages in total, or eight phases, and the enemies will go as follows. So we're going to start with Hui as the first enemy, and then Dodoria, and then Zarabon, and then the entire Ginyu Force, followed by uh, Ginyu Goku, then we got First Form Frieza, Final Form Frieza, and finally Full Power Frieza as the final boss. So uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight phases in total, which is pretty standard. They usually are seven to eight stages on average. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Those are my predictions. I know I could predict a few more things, but I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because uh, I'm probably already gonna be wrong on a lot of these. So I don't wanna be even more wrong if I make more predictions. 
But uh, those are just my thoughts, man, about this upcoming uh, 350 million download celebration. Um, I think I'm the most confident in the Dual Dokkan Fest because this just seems kind of obvious. But aside from that, um, the side units, I'm a little bit iffy on. The easy A's, I'm pretty confident this guy at the very least will be getting an easy A for sure. But this Frieza, maybe not. It could be the STR Final Form Frieza. And uh, we also have this very bold prediction, which uh, could happen. Not super likely, but there's a chance. And then we have the Part 2 LR, which I'm also not sure about. I mean, originally I was thinking maybe an LR Ginyu Force, like a summonable Ginyu Force. And I still think that's a possibility as well, but I just think Vegeta is much more likely. And uh, then we have, of course, the phases for the uh, Infinite Dragon Ball History stage, which, you know, I could be slightly off on. Maybe they'll do like all the members of the Ginyu Force or something like that, but uh, this is what I'm going to go with. But uh, there you go, guys. That is everything that I wanted to speculate on today. Let me know about any predictions you guys have in the comments. Uh, let me know if you agree with my predictions or not. And if not, then what do you think is going to be, you know, the Dual Dual Confess, the side units? and all that stuff, okay? Obviously, like I said, this is just for fun. None of us really know exactly what's gonna happen, but we should find out within the next, like, three or four days, right? With the upcoming stream slash Dokkan Now program. So before then, get your predictions in, and uh, that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.